Liza Chasen. I'm a producer on The Lost City. I've known Sandy a long time, um, just friendly, uh, not professionally, and she and I sort of reconnected after a, not having seen each other for a long time to talk about kind of opportunities and, you know, sort of what could we find that might be interesting to do together. And very soon after that, she called me and she said, you know, I read a script, I think there's a great idea, and if you agree, I think we should do it. Right I think it was pretty singular from the, from the outset. Um, you know, we both recognized that this was a film we hadn't seen for a long time, that it was a fun, big, theater, you know, theatrical experience. And I think in a world where you're looking for real, like true popcorn movies too, um, to bring people back and, and, and have that com kind of communal experience watching a movie in a theater, um, we were really excited about the potential. There are plenty of you know, actor producers out there doing their thing. I, I think she's uh, a unique, she stands alone in, in her capacity to sort of deliver 150% on both fronts, right? She never, ever um, didn't wear both hats. Daniel really did. He was one of the first people that came to mind. And we were delighted that he engaged so quickly and even more so when he showed up and we were like, oh yes, brilliant. Divine came in and you know we auditioned a lot for that role and we had an idea of, of, of the kind of actress we wanted and she is a very serious like Yale trained actress, um, comedian, and she brought this power and as you know as a as a sort of female boss that we really wanted in this story but she also brought a warmth and a and an intellect that you understood the connection between these two people that it was deeper than just a professional relationship that at the core of this movie is a is is a, is is a is a friendship like a historical friendship and beth winds up going on this crazy journey because she kind of just nobody's helping her and she's not a woman who's going to sit around. She's a woman who's going to take matters into her own hands. Alongside Beth uh, is Beth's new kind of assistant slash social media expert um, played by Patty Harrison and and Patty was the only person we went to for that role. Patty was somebody I had worked with previously on something and I raised the idea of her early on and the guys, um, Adam and Aaron Nee, the directors, really loved her. So we went straight to Patty and were like, do you want to come do this? Um, and she's sort of a quirky comedian and she's very popular with obviously the young set. So that was nice for us to have that represented in the movie. The jumpsuit. The jumpsuit. Exactly. Right. Well, so the jumpsuit was Sandy's idea. She, she, first of all, she loves a jumpsuit. Just in her real life, she wears a lot of jumpsuits. So I think, I think she liked the idea. And we landed on it as a, as a very comedic idea right out of the gate. Like, it's uncomfortable for a woman to be in a jumpsuit for a long period of time. It's really hard to go pee. Like, just basic stuff. So we posited this idea that this is a woman who hasn't left her house and her publisher is gonna put her in this very glittery, bright colored jumpsuit that's on loan. It's, you know, two hours, she'll have it on and off and then she can go back to her retreat, right? Um, and of course, this is the thing she's gonna get kidnapped in. 